What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing another roller coaster review. We are doing Cedar Creek Mine Ride at Cedar Point. Um, I believe this is the last roller coaster I have to do at Cedar Point. Unless I end up doing the kitty roller coasters. But yeah. I will have an updated review for every roller coaster in August at Cedar mm. Point because I'm going at the end of July and I'm going to get every credit there besides Corkscrew because I don't want to get Corkscrew because I know Corkscrew is a horrible ride. So yeah. But that's for that. So this is a mine train. As you can tell, it has a mine in its name. It's a mine train by Aero. Um, it opened in 1965. It has a length of 2,540 feet, 48 feet tall, 42 miles per hour in speed, known versions, and it is 2 minutes and 42 seconds long. It has 4 trains with 5 cars per train. Riders are arranged 2 across in, in 3 rows for a total of 30 riders per train. It was designed by Ron Toon. Now into the review part. This is probably the most boring mine train I've ridden. I've ridden two, and I much prefer Thunderation than at Silver Dollar City than this one. I am gonna start traveling more often to get mine train roll to get roller coasters in general. So you guys can expect that. There's gonna be a lot more reviews on this channel, so you guys can expect but yeah City Creek Mine Ride it's an okay ride it, it's kind of boring compared to some other rides to be honest I'm not a huge fan of Cedar Creek Mine Ride so yeah but before we continue any further if I hit 100 subscribers by the end of 20 oh by the sorry ugh if we hit a hundred subscribers, I will start editing my videos. They'll be edited. We'll have a green screen background behind me instead of just the green screen. Um, and many more things. So if you want that, let's hit a hundred subscribers. We're super close. We only need like 15 more. We're almost there. 16, 15 more subscribers guys. Let's go. Share this video with others. Share this video with friends. So you hit, tell him to subscribe to this boy because he's going to start editing his videos. Now back to the actual video. So, yeah. Oh, and also go subscribe to the gaming channel. Subscribe to the gaming channel. Okay. So, it's an okay mind train. It's really boring. That's all I got to say. The drops are very shallow. It, it, it's the... It's pretty themed. The actual ride itself is not themed really, but that the entrance and outside the ride is very themed. So, yeah, it's probably one of the most themed rides at Cedar Point, other than Steel Vengeance. But it's probably one of the most themed rides. So this is my review of Secret Mine Ride. This was a short one because I don't have much to say about Secret Mine Ride. It's just a boring, bland roller coaster. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe with post notifications on. I'll see you next time. Bye.